challenges. Today, we delve into the ongoing negotiations between pre-tertiary education unions and the government, following the suspension of the recent strike action. Despite the resumption of negotiations, it appears that the teacher unions may not achieve all their demands, especially regarding key allowances they've been advocating for. Historically, teacher unions have faced challenges in securing full satisfaction of their demands during negotiations with the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission FWSC. Past negotiations, including those for COLA and salary increments, resulted in compromised agreements. For instance, in 2022, pre-tertiary teachers settled for a 15% COLA instead of their initial request for 20%, leading to the suspension of a strike action. As negotiations progress, it's expected that the government will prioritize fiscal sustainability, potentially limiting the extent of allowances increases sought by the unions. Among the contentious issues are demands for an increase in the Continuous Professional Development Allowance CDA, from 1,200 Ghanaian CDs to 3,000 Ghanaian CDs annually, representing a significant percentage jump. However, projections suggest a more conservative increase may be on the horizon. Similarly, calls for a 20% deprived area allowance face scrutiny, with the likelihood of a scaled-back percentage increase being considered due to financial constraints. While negotiations continue, both sides navigate complex terrain, balancing the quest for fair remuneration against economic realities. Stay tuned as we monitor developments in these crucial negotiations. Thank you for joining us today on JHuxtelo iTech. I'm Jest, and we'll bring you further updates on the outcomes of these pivotal negotiations. Until next time, keep advocating for fair treatment and respect for our educators.